back to my channel. I'm Rachel, the owner and creator here at The Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. Today, as you can probably tell from behind me, I have a thrift haul for you. And my husband and I went on our junk run on Sunday and uh, we found quite a bit of stuff. I was actually kind of worried uh, that we weren't going to find anything and I would have a very very tiny video for today But as it stands I have a lot to get through because we did manage to find quite a bit of stuff So I'm just gonna get started <laughs> So I'm gonna start with the stuff in front so I can kind of get it out of my way uh, So we found these two pots at the first Goodwill we went to I just thought they were beautiful um, They're just big uh, plant pots I'm going to put them here in the cottage. I paid a little bit more than I would have wanted to for them, honestly. And I had 20% off coupons in my purse and I forgot to use them. But this one was $13, 12 dollars Let me set that there. And then this one is a little heavier and it's got a little bit more intricate pattern. And it's actually got a hole in the bottom, which is nice. And this one was $9.99. So um, they weren't terrible, but... Uh, they were definitely pretty and they'll add a little something something to the cottage so i grabbed those then these chairs i'm going to show you these guys so i can get them out of here uh these are just beautiful they're in such a great shape the only uh thing is the seats are a little bit stained but i think with like some OxyClean and a brush, I should be able to get these pretty clean. They're in really good shape as far as the cushions go. The caning is absolutely lovely. Um, and these are just, they're, they're super awesome, beautiful chairs, nice and comfy. The caning's all tight. Uh, they have a couple of places where it looks like they were up against something that was painted white uh, and the paint transferred onto them. So I'm gonna have to try and figure out how to get that off without uh, ruining the wood at all because I want to leave these just as they are these will be perfect for our booth over at the Bohemian and so I'm excited to get them cleaned up and over there so that are that is those and they were marked $29.99 uh, each and I did remember to get to use my 20% uh, off coupon so I paid like $25 a piece for them so not too bad and I should definitely be able to get my money out of them anyway I'm gonna move this guy out of the way there we go that's a little bit better and then we actually oh, that's just fun. sorry guys <laughs> let's just move that over there anyway these two we actually got um just on our way home one night they were just sitting in the car so i thought i'd bring them in uh, i thought these were just neat they're old um but they're kind of cool and i think I'm, I'm kind of up in the air as to whether or not i want to paint them or leave them as is uh, I don't know we'll see but um, they were in pretty good shape um, and they were four dollars a piece so I grabbed those two just like I said on the way home from Goodwill one night uh oh one of them lost a leaf I'll have to figure that out anyway so this box um, I thought this was kind of cool I haven't opened it yet I'm probably going to fix this up for Christmas uh, maybe put some molds or a transfer or something like that on it for Christmas. I just thought it'd be pretty. Change up the color a little bit. I just thought it was kind of a fun piece and it was only $4.99. Then this I actually saw the last time I was at the Goodwill, so it's been there for a little while. Uh, I, I liked the frame, not necessarily the color, but it's nice sturdy wood. Um, this will have to get sanded because this is kind of raised out of there. But I thought this would be a great backdrop for... Uh, again, um, some decoupage paper or some kind of a something. <laughs> I can do something with it for Christmas, I'm sure. And this one was originally $5. That's why I didn't get it, but it was on half price when we were there on Sunday. So that made it $2.50. So that's why I grabbed it. So that's that. And then this little table is another one that we grabbed at the same time we got those flower or the, the leaf uh, art. And this was $6. It's, it's nothing special. It's not an antique. This is just old MDF uh, wood, but I thought it was cute. It's in really good shape. No wobbles or uh, cracks anywhere. So it'll get a coat of paint and then um, it'll make a great addition to Christmas displays. Um, and then just going forward after that too. So grab that. Then 
I know this is kind of the odd man out, my hair dryer. Uh, I don't know if you if you followed me for a while. Um, I my um, heat gun broke a while ago and I haven't replaced it. I have one at home that I keep forgetting to bring in, but we were there and I was like, told my husband, I said, will you look for a small hair dryer for me while we're here? And so he did, he found this one uh, and it was only six bucks. So we grabbed that. It'll take the place of my heat gun for at least a while. Then we got these uh, silver, they're nice heavy metal um, candle holders. I'm thinking I'm going to leave these guys alone and not do anything to them because I like the metal with Christmas, um, especially since I have quite a bit of mercury glass. These will go really nicely uh, with a display with a little bit of mercury glass in it. So I'm probably going to leave them as is. They were $2.99 a piece. So I grabbed those. We actually found some good deals at Goodwill. I was really happy, honestly. Uh, this I just thought was kind of neat. I'm not super keen on these roses. I might take those off of here um, and just leave it a little white orb. We'll see. Um, might give it a paint job. I just thought it was kind of pretty. And uh, it was only $4, so I grabbed it. And I grabbed this vase. Um, it looks like Linux to me. I haven't Google lensed it. It might just be some other brand of Bone China, but we'll see. But it, I thought it was really pretty. It doesn't have a tag on the bottom, otherwise I'd know. Uh, but it was only $3.99. Um, and I just, I love these. And with Christmas coming, I think this is such a great addition also to a Christmas display. So I grabbed that. This little guy spoke Christmas to me. Uh, more of like the woodsy, uh, outdoors kind of Christmas decor. But um, he needs a, a new coat of paint and then he will be good to go. And I thought he was just really cute. And it was only $3, $2.99. So I grabbed that. My husband's like, my cart was full. And he said, I think out of that whole cart, the only thing you really have this Christmas is that little thing with the moose on it. <laughs> so he's probably right. So apothecary jars. I don't know if you can see all these guys. I got five of them at one Goodwill. They were $3.99 a piece. And so I got this one that has this beautiful um, kind of shape to it. I just love. Um, then there was this one. It's just kind of pretty with the lid. This one's a little heavier. This one, it looks just more like a clear vase with a lid. So. This one, which is pretty much a match to that one, just a little different lid. <clears throat> and then this taller one that looks more like a vase. They are all dirty. They definitely need a bath, but um, I've been looking a little bit on Pinterest and there are quite a few ideas for Christmas displays, filling these a little bit with snow and then maybe putting like a little deer or a little, you know, some trees or a little house or something like that in them and or some greenery. And so I thought that would be a really pretty display with all five of them um, at differing heights in a display with different things in them. So that's kind of my vision for, for these. So we'll see how I, it all comes together. <laughs> Hopefully well. <laughs> My husband found these. Um, I thought they were just pretty. They're uh, salt and pepper shakers and um, they're in pretty good shape the way they are. Um, this one has kind of a little weirdness to it right there. I'm not really sure that I want to paint them though. So kind of like the wood look of them. We'll see what happens. We found kind of as we were leaving, they were they brought a cart out and they had some neat stuff in it. So my husband poked through it and found these guys. This one was three dollars, so two ninety nine. Beautiful little blown glass pumpkin. I just love these. I think they're so pretty. And I know fall uh, selling season is coming kind of to a close, honestly. Um, but I thought even if I pack these away for next year, they'd be great in a display. And then this one is just really pretty. It's kind of got this gold banding to it that's neat. Um, and this one was $3.99. So I won't make a ton of money on these, but they're really pretty and so nice to have in a display. So then I grabbed this little thing basically because it was cheap. <laughs> I think it was, uh, yeah, it was $1.99 and it was half price. So it's, it was 99 cents basically. It's just a little pillar holder. Um, but I thought you could get one of those little glass, 
um, hurricanes that have the little thing on, on the bottom that can fit into here. And I thought this might be pretty with one of those in it. In it. So uh, we'll see. I just might actually um, attach something to it to make a riser with it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So we'll see. <clears throat> and then my husband found this. It's a little... We think it's a spittoon <laughs> so it's it was two dollars and 99 cents and I just thought it was kind of cute little brass bucket um I think what I might honestly do with this is get a, a little Christmas tree and plant in you know put in this and then fill the bottom with like Spanish moss uh, and just have it have a little tree in it I thought that'd be kind of cute so this little thing, it's just a little wood kickstand I thought was pretty. Uh, this one's definitely gonna get some Christmas effect to it somehow uh, and get painted and um, done something to it. I just thought it was really pretty. It's nice and solid wood. Um, it was $2.99, so I grabbed that. And then, <clears throat> I loved this picture. I thought this was so pretty. Um, just pretty old picture. Uh, I'm a sucker for them. And especially when they're this ivory color with brown detailing, my favorite. So definitely had to have it. Uh, it was on sale somewhere for $19 on clearance. It was originally $36 <laughs> and I got it for $3.99. So I was happy with that. Um, anyway, it'll just look pretty out in a display somewhere. Then I grabbed this cross. I just thought it was pretty with Christmas coming. It uh, will get a paint job, um, something to go in my Christmas display. It originally looks like it was from like Michael's or something, and it was three dollars and ninety nine cents. So I grabbed that. Then it's, it was like planter heaven at the one Goodwill. So I got those two and this one all at the same Goodwill. This one was $4.99. Uh, just a really nice, kind of a different shape, which was kind of cool. Has this really pretty swirly pattern in it. Just a neat little planter. So I grabbed that. Put that down. There. Okay. And then I thought this guy was pretty. Um, Definitely not Christmas, more spring, uh, but it was inexpensive. It was $3.99. It's a little watering can, but um, I would use it as a plant pot because it's just cute. Um, so I grabbed that. I thought, just thought it was pretty. I love hydrangeas. And then, let's see, oh, this picture frame. So this is kind of different. It's a picture frame, but the uh, it's got like a cardboard piece in it. So I'm not going to be able to take it out, um, but I thought, again, I could probably just paint over her and add um, some decoupage paper or transfer or make this something really cute for Christmas. Uh, and I loved all the detail in the frame I thought was really pretty, and I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. So that was lovely. The gal almost gave it to me because I, I only had 20s and she didn't apparently have change even though she was doing a yard sale. <laughs> Luckily, I had like 90 cents in my purse, so I gave that to her for that. So then I got this little pumpkin. It's just a little, this is very bohemian to me, so it'll probably go over to our booth at the bohemian. Uh, it was $1.99 um, at one of the Goodwills. So I grabbed that. I thought it was just kind of cute. Little piece of um, funky detail for her fall. This set I thought was beautiful. I love the pattern in this. It is so pretty. The blues and the reds and the yellows. Definitely, again, more spring. Um, and so I might put this away until uh, springtime. But each piece was $2. Um, so I paid 6 bucks for the set of it. Um, I, I'm sure I can get my money back. Probably not make a bunch on it. But I just thought it was cute. So I had to have it. Then, this I thought was so pretty. This is handmade pottery. Um, just really pretty blue inside. It's got this cool wheat pattern to it. Um, it's signed. I have no idea how to read that. <laughs> so, but it was $3.99. So I grabbed that. I just thought it was cool. So. 
then these two I thought were nifty. Found these at the the second Goodwill we went to. Um, this one was three dollars and ninety nine cents, and this one was five dollars and ninety nine cents. And I just thought it was kind of neat that they're a pair, um, nifty little decor pieces for fall. So. I will probably take the fall pieces that I got over to our newer booth in Coeur d'Alene uh, at Reclaimed Market and because uh, she's going to be having our grand opening I think next Saturday so I'm hoping that there'll be some foot traffic and we'll actually be able to sell some of our fall stuff that we still have so <laughs> before the season's done. That would be lovely. So I got this little vase. I just loved the color. It's so pretty and I like the little pattern in it. Um, again, kind of springy. It's okay. I will store it if I have to. It was only $1.99. Just a cute little bud vase. Um, I thought this was adorable so I grabbed that. These two, again, really pretty for fall. Uh, carnival glass. Um, they're matching pattern. They look really pretty just stacked like that. This one was $2.99, this one was $1.99. And again, I'm gonna take these over with the rest of my fall stuff that I've gotten uh, to Coeur d'Alene and put them in our booth. Um, I just, I love this luster uh, glass. I think it's so pretty. And uh, so they'll make a great addition to our booth over there. Then this little canister, I, I don't really need any more canisters, you guys. I have so many canisters, but this one was kind of special because he is super cute. Uh, totally fits in with my color scheme for Christmas, um, and I just thought, and he's in perfect condition, and I thought, what a cute little um, Christmas cookie jar for somebody. I'm going to see if I can find a ring that will fit it so that it doesn't platter quite so much when you close it but it was only $4.99 so I grabbed it and he found this and I really wasn't gonna get it but it was a pink tag so it was half price so it was only two dollars and fifty cents um, it is made to hang on your wall like this and it's a little mailbox <laughs> So, and he said it matches these and it really kind of doesn't. It's not the same type of leaf. Uh, definitely same tone, metal tone, but not the same. Um, but I thought it was cute and I don't know, I might take the metal piece off of it, paint everything, make this look like a little Santa uh, mailbox and then do something a little different with the vines and then put them back on. We'll see. So that's kind of my my thought is this would be cute for like a little snowman and who knows but we'll see uh anyway it was like i said 250 so i grabbed it and then this was another thing my husband found uh <laughs> i love him i really do he's so helpful he is most of the time and this is a good thing except the heart on the bottom it's just not really my style uh but it was only $1.99 and I will paint it and I might just keep it for Valentine's Day. I've got some white cups that would be cute on um, a little stand like this. <laughs> so we'll see. This I thought was just really, really pretty. Again, for I will probably deck this out for Christmas somehow. Um, this design that's in it will look beautiful, um, distressed out of paint or with some um, gold gilding wax on it, something like that. It was only $2.99. And then could you see it with a couple little Christmas trees in it? I think it'd be super cute. So I grabbed that. <clears throat> oh, this one is heavy. Um, I just really liked it. I thought it was a pretty little basket. It's got uh, wicker on the bottom but everything else is really heavy metal and it was only three dollars and 99 cents so i grabbed that i thought it was just kind of cool now i don't know if you've been to the goodwill lately but a lot of them the pumpkins even these foam ones are so expensive but these two were out and they were only a dollar 99 a piece so i grabbed them both i will probably put these away until next year and then i will do that same technique i did uh, with my other two with some more molds and really dress them up for fall for next year um so but for two dollars a piece i couldn't leave them so i grabbed both of those and then <laughs> i don't know why uh the duck uh he was different and weird and i just thought he was cute he's got a little bit of a scratch on his back 
Um, but I just thought he was pretty and so I grabbed him. Um, I always like having a little bit of a, a man's area in the cottage, a little darker themed. Um, I've got some brass and a decanter and I'll put this stuff with all that stuff. So I thought he was kind of cute um, and he was only $3.99 so I grabbed him. So I grabbed this little corner shelf at a yard sale. This was $5. Um, I just thought it was kind of neat, very vintage. It's got a hole in the top of it where I think it has like maybe um, the spindles was supposed to come out the top. Um, I've got spindles. I'm thinking I might just glue one to the top here to make it match these. Um, if not, I will just fill this hole and um, would putty it in and you'll never even know it was there in the first place. So I just thought it was kind of a cool little uh, thing, something to stick in a corner somewhere. Um, <coughs> A couple pieces of decor and a lamp would be cute on it, so it's super great. And then the bookcase I got for five dollars at a yard sale. Uh, it's solid wood. Um, I think it's maple, and uh, it'll make a great little display piece. I'm gonna paint it and um, probably take it over to our booth over in Coeur d'Alene. And we've got my friend has a huge buffet, one of those really long ones. And I'm thinking we can stick this on the middle of it and just kind of uh, use it to um, stack displays and have more of a, of a vignette for Christmas. So should be a good piece when I'm done with it. It's got some really ugly something <laughs> that got spilled on it at some point. So I've got to fix it up and again, just get a, a paint job and then it'll be good to go. So that is it for my thrift haul junk run from Sunday. Um, yeah, we got a lot of good stuff. I'm really happy with everything. Uh, for Tuesdays, right? No, Friday. Gosh, I'm so messed up. For Friday's video, um, I am going to be working on some of this stuff and I probably this little table and I've got a couple other little tables in there. I've got so many things sitting around <laughs> that need help. So um, I will have some sort of a thrift flip furniture flip mixed bag for you guys on Friday. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't already, please think about subscribing to my channel. That helps me out and that way you can kind of follow along with all the craziness here in my cottage uh, that goes on every week. And uh, if you have a favorite item, I would love it if you drop a comment below and let me know what it was. And I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you back here on Friday. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.